The Kremlin's latest offer to limit the nuclear missile race has been dismissed by the West. The United States, Britain and France all say it's unacceptable. The offer came in a speech by the Soviet leader, Mr. Andropov. He says the Russians would cut the number of missiles they got aimed at Western Europe in exchange for concessions by NATO. He also warned that if America goes ahead with new missiles like the MX, the Russians will do the same. Labour Party leaders have lost their High Court action aimed at stopping parliamentary seat boundaries being changed. They say they'll appeal. If the changes go ahead, they could cost Labour 30 seats at the next election. A row is developing at Westminster over a company takeover. It involved a South African bid for a Scottish firm, Anderson Strathclyde. The, Monop the Monopolies Commission wanted to block it, but the government overruled them. The Trade Secretary, Lord Cofield, has shares in the South African firm, though he did declare his interest and let his deputy handle the affair. Arthur Scargill has been cleared of speeding on the M1. The police claim he was driving at up to 120 miles an hour, but Mr Scargill, who denied it, questioned whether it was his car the police had followed. The magistrates at Rotherham in Yorkshire said the case wasn't proved and dismissed it. South African security police have been cleared of blame for the death of the white trade union leader Neil Agate. He was found hanged in a police cell last February, the first white South African to die in police custody. His friends and family say police torture drove him to kill himself. But the inquest, which ended today, said no one was to blame. Siamese twins, both girls, have been born at a hospital in Oxford, but it seems unlikely that both will survive. They were born this afternoon joined at the chest. The mother, who comes from Northampton, is said to be well and comfortable. And that's all from me. Good night.